townsfolk might refer to this site as a bandit camp. Just a mere camp. But I see more. This is not just a camp. It's a freaking fortress! People back at the village don't consider the bandits a threat, but I've seen them scout all the way to Sierzo's gates. There's a threat here, and the guards are ignoring it. Could it be that they're also on the bandits' payroll? No, no, it can't be. Hmm. Whatever the case, something sinister is at play here, and I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. Hey guys, I'm Kirko. Welcome back to Outward. We are here at this bandit camp now, uh, over here, and it's time we go and explore what this is hell is all about. Like, Steve has an idea that this is not all as it should be, and he's gonna be very careful just to see what exactly is going on out here. But there is something that is going on out here, and uh, yeah, we'll see what is the case. Now, uh, this game, if you haven't heard yet, I might have complained on this uh, on the score a bit. Uh, oh, we need to enter it actually proper. Okay. Uh, so this game had some copyright claims on the music uh, on this game, and you know that kind of annoyed me because you know usually games take care of that before uh, releasing it because you know clearly YouTubers play this game so if you copyright claim it it's just a stupid decision especially if you're in the game but it seems that so far now it has actually been remedied and it should be fine that's why I actually love the music in for now but we'll see all right we are inside this is Montcalm clan fort interesting to say the least there's a hyena there or some sort of hyena. Now Steve is a sniper, we all know that. Clearly. Where is that hyena now? Hyena, get closer so I can snipe you. People told me that the bow is actually a very OP thing, but it can uh, get lost in the just in the twisting nether and you will never see it again. That hyena is armored. This could end up very, very badly for us. Especially, you know what, um, before I attempt a fight, let's uh, double check this. Mm, yeah, I'm fine dropping uh, my backpack. There you go. And I need my iron mace somewhere where I can actually quickly equip it. So let's do that before we do anything. Uh, let's just put it quickly on number three over here. There you go. Now let's uh, snipe that hyena. Oh, it got hurt. Okay, it's not getting hurt as much as one would hope. Not as much as one would hope. Okay. Let's uh, actually do this proper, shall we? Ah, I need to. I need to tab. Right. I need to tab. Oh boy. Oh boy. This is gonna be way more difficult. Okay, I think I stabbed the hyena. Please target the hyena. I would prefer if you target the hyena. Okay. This is not as good as one you one would think. Okay. How's my HP? Not very good. Okay, that guy. We can stab this guy as well. Okay, Hyena is ready to go. Just keep on stabbing it. I'm also ready to go. Oh my god, he didn't want to block at all. <laughs> okay. Uh, fighting two opponents. I need to dodge, probably. Uh, blocking just doesn't work uh, versus two because you can't... The problem is you can't switch from uh, uh, one person to the other. Like, if you tab, uh, it just switches away from everything. You know, it doesn't... Okay, he actually gave me weapons. That's cool. It's cool. Yo, you just gave me a weapon. Oh, over here. Would you please equip that? No iron mace in your inventory. How about now? Yeah, now you can. Good. 
um, yeah if you if you have uh, two and you press tab it won't select the other one as you would expect right it actually just tabs away from everything and that's really obnoxious it's uh, very annoying now with one linen cloth we can't do much uh, in the way of crafting I hear stuff moving around this one might be a bit more dangerous than the last one to be honest so we we wake woke up in here mm, let's find our way out now Steve over here he's uh he's not a newbie to these kinds of situations so he is very much ready to well fight for his life or something even though he is very thirsty and his health is very low so he actually need to sleep to actually regain his uh, HP right now to be honest we should have not even gone here and be fighting because we are already full on inventory should have probably just get rid of it oh there's someone over here I didn't even see them hello person oh my god just one hit I don't even see them I can't even see where they are oh, it's a problem probably okay escaping from this place is gonna be tougher I think I just need to find a bedroom uh, excuse me did you just throw me out here with my backpack with all the stuff um, did you just uh, put me outside of the band camp uh, Bennett camp where I should have read what it said it didn't I was like okay you captured me again fine probably should have read what is going on <laughs> okay we have an antidote uh, let's uh, drink from this thing because we are thirsty use it some more should be fine now we have some uh, meat we don't have enough to make bandages right oh we can make a dagger let's uh, make a dagger sure should have probably crafted that earlier it's my favorite thing sure we lost some gear so so far I think but I don't really care they brought me out here with a mace they're like, yeah, your problem, get out. <laughs> you can interact with this. It does not open from here. It opens from the other side. I, I, To be honest, I have no idea what actually happened there. Why did they just boot me out? <laughs> That's game. You are silly, okay? Sometimes you are silly, is all I'm gonna say. Uh, I, I should play this game on my own just to... Uh, get used to the combat but if I play this game like every other day for like maybe an hour I do not get used to combat and then when I'm in combat situation I'm like uh, what do I even have to press how do I block how do I roll and stuff like that yeah it does feel to me that we are on the other side of this camp not on the same one we were before well look they hanged a the person there yeah so this is Montcalm Clanford okay so Steve went in there and he found terrible things in here clearly they have their own hyenas in here we are gonna sneak past this guy I'm gonna go home I'm gonna heal up then we're gonna do some improvements on our combat skills we need to learn uh, them combat skills and how to fight yeah it's what it is especially uh, when it, you know when someone hits you I guess uh, your stamina gets staggered or something like that and you can't block anymore and I, I just couldn't block even though I was thinking he's blocking poor Steve Steve I wish you had a better person controlling you but so far yeah you're stuck with me buddy you are stuck with me so Steve has not learned exactly who is controlling who over here in the situation if Truly, the guards might be corrupt and thusly, well, on the payroll of these bandits and the bandits might, well, have a cause to attack uh, Sierra soon. He's gonna go back there, but who should he warn? Like, 
the main guard is the only person uh, that he might have previously trusted that he's still in the town. Uh, his two friends have left, and so did uh, the pretty much the matron of the town. So, who should he tell? I think uh, Steve's got an idea that uh, this town might not be safe for him anymore. But maybe it's time he moves on and tries to go somewhere else in the in the whole uh, this whole big region. Even though he's probably gonna just end up getting murdered out there. Probably. With the way things have been going, that's a good chance that that's gonna happen. But for now, just happy that he escaped from uh, the current prison. He decides that it might be time to go home. Might be time to go home, regroup, redo his things, uh, maybe get some new boots or something. You see, there's the dead bandits that he killed, that were patrolling very close to the town, and there's more bandits out there, clearly. So there is something, there is something sinister happening here for sure. Well, whatever it is, Steve is not gonna wait around. See what happens to Sierzo. He can't be... Oh, this is empty, of course. He can't be the town's only protector. Because, you know, if he is truly the only protector, then uh, the other guards might betray him. And he might pay with his life for real this time around. So, Steve decides that maybe... Maybe... He needs to go out there, commune with the spirits of this land, maybe learn some magic, and then he'll be more prepared to learn the secrets uh, what's happening around Sierra. Because while he doesn't want to be its only protector, he still wants to protect his hometown. Now the question is, uh, did I store any, uh, any silver back at home? It's a good question. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna, Greetings, I'm gonna sell you some of the crap that I have. Uh, like this iron sword, this machete, not the pickaxe, this thing, sure. Uh, let's sell on the ice rag. The eggs we've not used for anything yet. Antidote and hex cleaner we are keeping with us. Uh, you can have the trap as well. So are you selling anything useful? Excuse me sir, what are you doing here? Why are these guys looking at me? I don't want to buy the trader's boots though. There's Master Trader's Boots. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna sell you this. Don't look at me like that. You see? Steve sees these guards following him around and he's like, what is going on? You know? There's something really happening out here and he's not quite sure what might it be, but there is for damn sure something happening out here. And uh, Steve, I'll have you know, he does not like it. Okay, let's uh, drink. And let's also gather the water. Let's drink some more because I know we need to drink some more. Should be fine now. Okay. Time to go home. See what we have stored out there. I don't know if I even had any money left. That's fine. I mean, most of the stuff we had, we brought back. Sure, we don't have gear. Rufus, where are you? Blessings of a lot upon you. Our healer. Uh... uh what do you do if I catch a uh, disease? Brew? A potion? Okay. You all know the ingredients in cooking pot though. After drinking you'll need some time before the illness is actually cured. Okay, just rest for a long time. Mm. Sounds cool, Rufus. Um, I wanted to go see something over this boy. The shopkeeper. Is there something you need? I wanted to see if you had a bigger backpack or something. You have the cooking pots. Oh, he has a tent. It would be useful if we start traveling. Fur tent. Sounds good. There you go. There's bigger backpacks. It's 25. I need uh, more money for that, but after that we're fine. The boots and stuff is uh, too expensive for us right now. But that's okay. Um, yeah, bigger backpack would be nice so we can bring back all the loot back in here before we die next time. Uh, now I'm kinda sorry that I didn't, didn't read what happened to us uh, there because I thought, you know, we just died and got captured by bandits again. But clearly something else happened. 
So that's fine. Let's see. Uh, do we have any money in here? We did not store any money. That is unfortunate. But we do have a lot of stuff we can probably sell. If we are so inclined. Uh, but first things first. Steve is going to go rest. It's time to use a bed and rest for a bit. Sure, it's going to be nighttime soon, but that's fine. Let's rest for like, let's rest for three hours, maybe. Let's see, that didn't do too much for us yet, but you know, it did recover some of our missing health. Uh, I would like to take some stuff from my stash and go sell it. Like the poison rag, the eggs. Sure, we won't get much out of this, but uh, it's not like we're using it for anything else. Yeah, oh, we have meat stew over here for uh, healing. There's a lot of these things we, you know, we can have, but hey. Uh, there's the cooking pot. We can do some something with that. We have a lot of pieces of iron. We are storing here. Let's leave that here. Mana stone we're going to leave. Wood we're going to leave. Thick oil. Uh, let's sell that, maybe. Uh, sure. Endurance potions. I'm never gonna use these. At least right now, I'm not gonna use these. So we could uh, get rid of those as well. Let's see if we can cook something quickly. And uh, and then we can make miner's omelet. This is the thing the lady wanted. It's a decent dish. There you go. I have some miner's omelets. Why not? And we gotta go sell some stuff and buy a better backpack. I know we don't have boots and stuff, but it doesn't seem too cold out there, so we're not gonna probably be freezing to death. Just quite yet. I'm sure we can find some more stuff somewhere. Surely. Out there, there's gonna be some boots for us. I mean, Steve managed to find some boots uh, before. A couple of different boots, in fact. So, this should, this should do. Hello, sir. I have come to trade with you. Is there something you need? Don't talk to me like that. I'm here to sell you my seaweed and my star mushrooms and some of my raw meat and some of these tartinis and some blood mushrooms and the poison rag and my antidote. No, not the antidote. The antidote bring back uh, my endurance potions. There you go. Sell that. 47. Give me a better backpack. I agree. Sweet. Now, let's actually try this. Where's my backup packer? Hell yeah! Now we talking. Now we are a proper hobbit. Let's op open this and let's just take everything. Goodbye, primitive satchel. It was nice knowing you. I don't want to equip it. Go away. Okay. This is current equipment. Sure, we we are not really doing that. That's good on everything, but look at that. This can carry 50 now. Let's go. Let's go. Um, I don't think there's anywhere we can go do anything right now or loot it. Uh, that would be close enough and safe enough for us to do so. You know? We never went back here. Lady, can I talk to you? No? Okay. I hope I didn't have any silver on me. Oh, there's a pitchfork over here. I'm gonna steal your pitchfork, old man. I'm just looking if there's some boots uh, just hiding around somewhere. You know, apparently you can just steal whatever you want in this town, so... That's what uh, Steve's doing right now. He's running around, seeing if he can steal something from the townspeople. Because, uh, who cares about them, right? We found an axe out here before. Oh, that roll, man, that roll. Seems okay so far. I would like to have that shield. I mean, this dagger is pretty cool. But I would like to have that shield, to be honest. Kacha! Yeah, nothing happens. Whatever. Okay, we're gonna go back. We're gonna rest for a while. And then, well, tomorrow we can go do more stuff. Go out there and maybe Steve's gonna make his way towards the mountain. And see if he can, I don't know. Do some magic stuff. Learn some magic stuff. Would be cool. Let's sleep for a bit. And let's maybe repair something. It's gonna be fine. Repair some more. Ten hours. Why not? Well, it's still dark. As Steve wakes up. But it's not too dark. I will go ahead. And I'm gonna pick up uh, these. 
Now we do have a bed roll, right? Yeah, I'm gonna store the mushrooms because the lady didn't wanna buy these. And uh, this one restore more food. So what does this do? I'm just gonna leave these behind for now. Keep that. Uh, silver. We have 45 silver. Can we do something with it? I'm gonna see if I can buy something. And after that, I'm gonna... Wait, did we still not restore HP fully? Oh, you know what? My bad. I'm gonna go sleep some more then. It's night anyway, so I'm gonna just sleep for a bit more. I thought we will, but I guess not. Hey, good morning. We are here. Uh, I wanna see if I can buy another bow. Since uh, we kinda lost the last one to the bandits. And so far, the bow seem to be a very, very good weapon. So, I'm gonna see if I can do that. Maybe somewhere out here. Someone is selling a bow. Who knows? Maybe the trader. Maybe uh, the blacksmith. Surely someone can do that. Can get uh, a guy some proper bow stuff. You need? Don't talk to me. You do not sell bows. Gold ingot. You know what? Your mom is a gold ingot. Don't care about new your gold ingots. Maybe this guy over here. Loud hammer. What can I do for you? All right. Yeah, yeah. He does sell a bow. I will buy your bow. I'll buy your bow. I'll spend my money on that. I will sell you my pitchfork. <laughs> pitchfork for bow. That's a good transaction. Some uh, iron axes. I think my uh, iron mace is just as good as this thing. So broad dagger. This would be the way to go. Yo, I wish there would be like stealing in this game. Would be kind of cool. Would be kind of cool. Okay. Uh, confirm transaction. Yes, please. We now have a bow. And I feel we are ready to go. Uh, how are we feeling? I think we are feeling just fine. Okay. Let's, uh, let's go. Actually, I don't have a lantern anymore. Well, that's obnoxious. Hmm. Yeah, it's annoying. Well, sure, it's gonna be fine. I'm sure it's gonna be okay. After re-equipping himself back at Sierra, Steve decides that you know what? One defeat at the hands of bandits is not gonna, it's not gonna sway him. He has a mission to do, and he still wants to protect Sierra from whatever bad things are happening around here. But first things first, he needs to go out there and find himself some boots. <laughs> some boots and uh, what he wants to do basically is go towards the mountain because the mountain is uh, well it's full of promises of magic and he thinks that if he can't defeat them by his just his sword hand then maybe maybe magic is gonna help him maybe probably not We'll see. Um, that seems like a pathway out there. Sure, let's follow it. And if you see a bandit, yes, we'll play with him. Sure, we might not have boots, but maybe that bandit's gonna have some boots. There's bandit. And the problem is there's probably two of them. No, please. Don't put the fucking dagger in the backpack. Dagger needs to be in here, my friend, in the pocket. There you go. I uh, think some meat stew in here. Move one. For now. This is this is good. Okay. Drop this thing now. Equip the bow. Equip the bow. Thank you. Oh, really? That's, that's how sneaky you are? This is gonna position himself out of my line of sight, huh? You know what? That bandit is smarter than you think. Oh no, it wasn't me. Okay. Uh, okay, bad, bad idea. Shoot faster. Just dodge. Okay, good. Let him swing. Let him swing. He thinks he can do this. He can't. Nice. Got him. Good job. Did the bandit. He had more arrows than you think. And he had a machete. Okay, where's my backpack? Good. This is the way to go, Steve. You got hurt once. That's not a problem. But please. 
Equip this. Thank you. Equip this. Equip this, my friend. This is how we do it. Now, usually bandits are in twos, but looks like he was alone. You know what? If that's the case, we'll let it be. We shall let it be. Uh, what do you need to make a, uh, a campfire kit? Just a makeshift torch? Yeah, you need cloth, which is obnoxious. Uh, let's uh, gather some wood. This is the easiest way to gather wood, I'll have you know. Put this in here. Put this in here. Uh, we got a nom nom on that one. And let's drop two wood. I need just one. Whenever we find, uh, well, some cloth somewhere, we can make a torch. Sure, bandages would be cool to make as well, but uh, a cloth seems to be much rarer than you would anticipate. Well, for now, all is well. All is good in the hood. I'll have you know that Steve is uh, not too worried about not having boots or a helmet. Because he knows that in this world, the world that is ripe with possibilities, a man can find boots or uh, a hat pretty much everywhere. And um, after his, uh, well, recent experience outside, in the outside world, uh, he knows that he can survive anything that the, uh, the world throws at him. Even if it steals his boots, he's ready for it. That's why he's going towards this bluish mountain and he decided that he wants to dabble with magic a bit. Dabbling in magic, you know, what could possibly go wrong? Now, in his previous adventures, he has seen uh, what seemed to be an entrance to the, to the underside of the mountain and he's gonna try finding that uh, area once again and see who is in there. I believe uh, it's uh, it should be friendly people because it's a mission of the god Elat, and uh, should be quite all right the way things are right now. Well, doesn't seem to be any uh, bandits around here. Stevie's happy. He took care of some bandits out in the world. He might have died to a huge armored hyena, but uh, you know. A man's only can do so much in this world. Only so much on his own. He knows that he will need friends and guidance if he ever wants to do this proper. But that might take time. That indeed might take some time. Okay. Steve has found the entrance to what uh, appears to be a, well, a magic mountain to say the least. We'll see what is in here holy missions conflux path and he's in inside the dark mountain now there's no idea what to expect in here there are people here are they uh, evil or not probably not because this should be a holy mission and should be all kinds of friendly let's talk to zephyr what you need well, well, a visitor. Careful around this place. It's full of nasty troglodytes. Oh, great. If you want to get to the heart of the mountain, this is probably the quickest way, but also the most dangerous. Listen up! If you want to go ahead, I'll give you a hand. I'll watch your back. Champion's honor. Okay. Wow. So he's gonna stay here and watch my back. Amazing. Now, Steve is again faced with some troglodytes. He knows what troglodytes have to offer. But uh, he's not quite sure if he wants to tackle them right away, especially because that one seems kind of a magical being. We'll see what he decides. Well, for now, he's gonna go here and just commune with uh, his uh, thoughts or something. Whatever he's gonna do, he's gonna do it. But for now, thank you everybody for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider dropping a comment down below. Should like, subscribe to see more. Do magic and Steve shall see you next time.